Wrigley Field in Chicago, 355 down the left field line and 353 to the foul pole in right. 400 feet to dead center field and 368 into the power alleys in left center and right center. The power belonged to the Cubs yesterday with those three home runs, Tony, Say, Moreland, and Jody Davis. Here's the umpiring crew. Doug Harvey, the veteran behind home plate. Joe West at first. Jerry Crawford, the second base umpire. And Bob Davidson will be at third base. The wind blowing in from right field, so it'll kill any ball hit out to the right field sector. Anything hit the left center field will be given a little help if it's up in the air. A great, great ballpark, and they'll have another packed house. Let's take a look at the lineup Whitey Herzog will use today against the left-hander Steve Trout. The Cardinals will lead off with Lonnie Smith, a lifetime 316 hitter who's batting 269. And there are those who say, Tony, that Lonnie Smith really is the key to this Cardinal attack. Well, he's been hitting a lot of ground balls to the left side, pulling off the ball. Whitey Herzog's been working with him along with other of the players. Ozzie Smith moves up to the second spot with the left-hander Steve Trout. There's Trout walking out toward the mound. Ozzie is batting 240 overall, but right-handed, he's hitting 350, 21 for 60. So he bats second today. Willie McGee, who had two hits yesterday and is batting 256, is the center fielder and number three hitter. George Hendrick got a day off yesterday, back in the cleanup spot against the left-hander today and playing right field. David Green plays first base, and he bats fifth. The switch hitter, Tommy Hur is the second baseman batting sixth. Another move designed because the left-hander is starting for the Cubs, Art Howe at third base, and he bats seventh. Darrell Porter, left-handed batter, drops to number eight, and he'll catch. And Ralph Citarella makes his first major league start, pitching today for the Cardinals. Steve Rainbow Trout, who has become the ace of this staff for Jim Fry's Cubs. Here's the defense behind him. Gary Matthews and left or near, who just covers almost all of that outfield for the Cubs. Hasn't made an error yet this season. He's in center. Keith Marlin playing regularly with Mal Hall gone to Cleveland in right field. Ron Say, Larry Bowen, Ryan Sandberg, and Leon Durham around the horn. Jody Davis, the catcher. They'd give you an argument, but Dernier and Sandberg rank right up there. They compare Dernier's running speed out of the batter's box with Juan Samuel, a fine-looking young second base from the Phillies. I think Samuel's got him by a little bit. And the payoff. Line drive, base hit. Dernier rounds third. Zimmer says, come on home. Here's Lonnie Smith's ah. throw. And he slides in safely. Sandberg takes second. Don Zimmer, the third base coach, puts everything together on this play. He knows the grass is slow. He knows the speed of Dernier off second base. He knows Lonnie Smith's throwing arm is not the strongest. And he just keeps Dernier coming in. When Lonnie Smith overthrew the cutoff man, Art Howe, Sandberg with his speet kept going. Mike Rourke or Whitey Herzog. Swinging on the 3-0 pitch. Ozzie gets there. Can he throw him out? Oh, what a magician. The Wiz. Listen to the Cardinal fans and even very, very appreciative Cup fans. Six to one. Going. Misses ball four. The bases are loaded. Cinderella is at third. Lonnie Smith at second. Ozzie Smith was walked twice now is at first. Well, after McGee, you've got the two big right-handed hitters, Hendrick and David Green. So if Trout has a problem with McGee. Could be it for him. Ball one to Willie McGee. So many of the players, you can see the top of the barrel of the bat by McGee, that hollowed out portion. When they take a few ounces on the top, hitters feel their bat is more balanced. Get more weight in the hitting area. Oh, this could be in there.
Willie McGee showing signs of snapping out of his slump. He's hit 350 over his last 10 games. Takes inside and low for ball one. He's Jody Davis catching has improved tremendously this year with the help of Johnny Oates, bullpen coach. 2-1 pitch is drilled to very deep right. Moreland for a look, but it is gone. Willie McGee is three for four with a single, a triple, and now a home run. Still see those home runs Willie McGee hit. Postseason play in the Cardinals championship year, and there were similar kinds of pitches. Left handed, balls down and in. I want to correct something. We we're talking about a pass ball. You know, Joey Davis, of course, the stolen base. Smith didn't advance to third, so there's no pass ball or wild pitch given on that. I'll just correct that. Stolen base for Ozzie Smith before the home runs. Five. Won seven of the first ten games between these two teams. Here's the one two to Howe. Strike on the breaking ball. But on the second homer of the year by Willie McGee, the Cards tack two more on the board, lead it 9 3 after five and a half at Wrigley Field. Simmer in the third base coaching box. Sandberg is on deck. 1 1 pitch from Allen to Dernier. Two runs will score. Hebner winds up at third. It's a double for Dernier. And it's nine to six. Side, and he turns just a little bit to get it by him. Ozzy Smith was talking about that before the ball game. About it. it's just a tough staff because we've changed so much to play behind defensively. You can't position because we've had such a turnover in this staff. All one to center. He's two for three. It's high run at the plate. Matthews on deck. He's gone. Well, no, Kyle. They get him at second. They do. Van Slyke cut it off and got Sandberg at second. But two runs scored. It's nine to eight. Lot of base runners like we've had today, and a lot of things happen. You've had it from every angle. Suter rolls it to Sandberg. He's made only three errors this year, lowest total by any regular second baseman in the National League. And Sandberg throws Suter out. This has been one entertaining ball game, folks, and there's more drama coming up in the last half of the night. Just one example of the esteem in which Ernie Banks is held by baseball fans here in Chicago. Bill Murray, the great comedian of Saturday Night Live fame, he's got a movie out now with Dan Aykroyd, Ghostbusters. He's a Chicago native and a baseball fan. He named his first child Homer, and the kid's middle name is Banks. So the kid's name reads as it would in a box score if Ernie had hit a round tripper the day before. Homer Banks Murray. at the corners. Vance like especially down at third base to take the double away. Also even with the bag. 
For Bruce Souter, they play a lot of right handed hitters to pull. If you can hit that ball solid to that split finger, it's going to be to the left side. Many times in the hole, so Ozzy Smith way over toward third base. Tito Landrum playing Sandberg very deep in left field. Another on the of, outside corner, one and one. Another bit of defensive strategy. Herzog moving the outfield back. You're going to give the looping single to try and keep that hitter out of scoring position. So they're deep in center and left. Prevent the double or triple. has 15 and the guy on the mound now for the Cubs Lee Smith is next with 14. A little bloop down the left side Matthews chasing over and leaping wow. in boy what an effort and he's upset that he didn't come up with it. What a tremendous bit of hustle by Gary Matthews. He had a long run and he's battling the wind and looking almost into the sun. Now he goes from the sun to the shade. And the fan just got a piece of it. But once Matthews put that glove in the stands, he's fair game. No fan interference can be called in. The fan reaches out into the playing field over the stands. The umpire can call it. Lee Smith delivers to Ozzie Smith. Foul ball, same direction, still 0-2. Ozzie Smith is 1 for 10 lifetime. Against the Cubs towering reliever Lee Smith. Still all fastballs to this point. See if he gets it with a slider the pitch that was so effective for him yesterday. Slaps it by him, base hit. So Ozzie now has a couple of hits and also a pair of walks. And here's Willie McGee. Three for five, a single, a triple, and a home run. Five RBIs. Just trying to find out something with McGee. See if the bat hand slides up the bat to tip off the butt. Hebner in tight and Durham will be charging. Ozzy is going. The pitch is taken low and away. Davis's throw safe. 19 stolen base for Ozzy Smith. He's been caught just five times. The little guys played one heck of a game today. Left-hand hitter McGee gives a little bit of an advantage to the base stealer. Catcher has to throw over the top. This seems like a simple thing, but look at how straight a line Ozzie Smith uses from first to second. I say it's simple geometry, but geometry, but so many guys just kind of waver off a step or two, and they get just thrown out bang bang. He'll be trying to pull the ball, but he doesn't. This could be a base hit. Matthews racing toward it. Can't get to it. Ozzie Smith rounds third. second a single in the fourth a homer in the sixth and now a double in the tenth six 
Six RBIs for Willie McGee. I wonder what's going to happen to this Cubs bullpen now. They've got to get some complete gains out of somebody. They've used seven pitchers. Her gives one a long ride, but Moreland is going to be there. Ball is not carrying in that direction. The Cardinals come up with two, and Willie McGee was the key man in the inning. They take an 11 9 lead to the bottom of the 10. Is it safe today? Don't bet on it. They're going to let Dernier steal if he wants it. His last time up, Sandberg homered to tie it at nine in the ninth. He's been tying run at the plate now in the tenth. Dernier should take it if they give it to him to remove the force at second base. Jorgensen at first play behind him saying, You want to steal? Your run's no good. The 1 0 pitch. Got the corner one and one. Our game today was produced by Ken Edmondson, directed by Bucky Guntz. Mike Weissman is the executive producer of NBC Sports, coordinating producer of baseball, Harry Coyle. 1 1 pitch. Takes a ball and move over Willie McGee. Oh. There may be a new player of the game. Fine Sandberg, six. five hits, including two home runs. Six RBI. Here's Ozzie. He took a bad hop, but that's nothing for him. He throws to Jorgensen. Wow, what a ball game. We will go to the 11th, tied at 11. Sandberg in the Cubs' last at bat has twice delivered a game tying home run, a solo shot of the night, a two run. After this, from your local station. Cubs have now used 20 players. 39 players using this ball game. The only position player left on either bench is Glenn Brummer, the catcher. The 0-1 inside and low, one and one. If Owen doesn't get it done. Boa would be next beyond Boa Hebner. That's it. Yep. Sandberg and Willie McGee will share our light beer from Miller player of the game. The Cubs who trailed 7-1, 9-3, trailed 9-8 in the ninth, 11-9 in the tenth. They come back and win at 12-11. Can't remember the last time I saw a better one. Back after the